everybody. Welcome back to the shop. This is Todd with Industrial Comfort. And today, I want to show you a card trick for creating two perfectly parallel surfaces on a board that you're going to run through your planer. Now, what you have to remember about thickness planers is that they do nothing more than reduce the thickness of the material that you run through them. If you run a crooked or warped board through a planer, yes, it'll thin the board out, but it's still going to come out the other end, either crooked or warped. So with a set of playing cards and some hot glue, I'm going to show you how we take a board like this, which is exceptionally uneven, not only because of the lamination, but it's just inherently uneven. And we're going to thin it out and create two perfectly parallel surfaces. So let me show you how we're going to do it. Now, before I go ahead and show you the trick that we're going to use with the playing cards, I'm going to use my belt sander to just even out the surfaces front and back. It's just going to speed up the process a little bit and will require fewer cards as we stack this against this jig. Now, if you don't have a belt grinder, it's totally fine. This step is optional, but I'm going to go ahead and do it just so that we can speed things up. Okay, here's where the card magic comes in. We're gonna take this board that we're looking to create a parallel surface for, and we're gonna put it on this reference board. Now this jig is nothing more than a flat piece of MDF, and I've screwed a piece of wood on the end just to keep things in place. Now, we're gonna take the uneven board, put it on the flat piece of MDF. Now, if you notice, if I push any of these corners, you'll notice how this board rocks back and forth because it's very uneven. So the card trick is we're going to take these cards and we're going to stick them under the gaps to prevent any movement. That way when we run through the surface planer, the planer will not push the board down and will create a flat surface on top which will serve as our reference surface. We'll then remove it from this piece of flat MDF flip it over, run it through the planer. And that's going to give us two perfectly parallel flat surfaces for this workpiece. With the dish blank now mounted to the jig with the playing cards in place, everything is flat and level, so let's start planing. Now that we have the flat surface on top, I'm going to use a paint scraper to gently pry up this board, which will flip over and then run through the planer. And that's how you use the card trick to get two flat and most importantly parallel surfaces on your workpiece with your planer. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.